guys, it's me, Brellis. Today, we are doing our Premier League predictions. My channel's dead as it could be. But you know, this video gets me a decent amount of views year after year. Oh, yes! So we're going back to it for this season. In 20th place, I predict that Cardiff will finish there. Not Premier League quality players, and they're just utter terrible. 20th, I have Wolves coming up. Don't really know a lot about them, uh, and I think they're going to go down. In 19th place, I have Brighton. They've made a couple signings, actually, right before we've recorded this video, but you know, I haven't heard of whoever they're signing, so he's not going to be good. In 19th, I have Newcastle. They struggled last year, and uh, the teams coming up from the championship, I think we'll do better than them. In 18th, I have Huddersfield. Last year, I predicted them to get relegated. They stayed up, defied a lot of people's opinions, but I think they're just going to go down this year. I also had Huddersfield in 18th, same as he said. Everyone had him in 20th, shocked a few people. Going down this year. In 17th, I have Watford. All right, nobody actually knows where Watford is in England. It's somewhere around there. So they're going to stay up. But it's going to be a hard season for Watford. I have Fulham in 17th. They are not the best team in Fulham or London. Yeah, I know Chelsea's just better than them. They're going to stay up, but it's going to be a tough season. In 16th, I have Newcastle. You know, true Jordy would be proud of this. Keeping Newcastle up. And I think some of the players that they have kept a hold of this season will keep them afloat. In 16th, I have Cardiff City. I think they'll do good. Shock a few people, stay up, do what Huddersfield did last year, and shock a few people. In 15th, I have Fulham. Easily the best team in West London, and I think that they are going to do things with Ryan Sesayong. 15th, I have Crystal Palace. I think they'll stay up, have a tough year, be in the relegation zone for a while, and come back match day 20. In 14th, I have Southampton. You know, they have a great academy, but right now they haven't been producing the best of players. So, Southampton are the team to finish in 14th. I have Watford in 14th. Don't really know who they are. And, uh, yeah. In 13th, I have Bournemouth. You know, Asmir Begovic, or whatever you say his name. Begovic is actually going to have a decent season for Bournemouth. And I think they're going to do solid. I have West Ham. Staying up, they're going to do a decent season, a January transfer window, they're going to do bits, and have a rocky start, but great comeback. At 12th place, I have Crystal Palace. Christian Benteke is going to start banging in goals regularly for the London side. I have Brighton. They stayed up last year. I think they'll do it again. In 11th place, I have Everton. You know... I just don't know what they're doing. They're signing too many players. They need to sign big players. They're just bringing in players, a lot of money, but they just aren't gonna blend. In 11th, I have Bournemouth. I think they'll do good, but won't make Europa League. Now in the top half of the table, I have West Ham finishing in 10th. They made a couple good signings and uh, decent season. In 10th, I have Southampton. They have some decent players, can do bits, but I don't think they will. In 9th place, I have newly promoted Wolves. These guys are money hounds. They are Wolves of the Wild. They know what they're doing. The Wolves owners have money and money and money. They're bringing in tons of good players, and I think they're going to finish in the top half of the table. In ninth, I have Leicester. I think Jamie Vardy's going to have a fire season, go back to how he was playing when they won the league, but the rest of the squad's going to let him down. In eighth place, I have Leicester. You know, Jamie Vardy's going to have a party, and I'm agreeing with Fish here. I think Jamie Vardy will have a good season. In eighth, I have Everton. I think they'll be able to stay up, do pretty good. I think they'll win both of the Merseyside derbies, and yeah. In 7th place, Burnley. For all you Burnley fans out there, congrats on beating Aberdeen. They're in the Europa League. Good stuff from Burnley. I also have Burnley. I mean, best team that's out of the top 6. 6th place, I have Arsenal. Not the best of size. You know, they've made a couple signings, but nothing to shake waves. I also have Arsenal. They're like the worst of the big 6 teams, and yeah. In 5th place, just missing out on Champions League football, I have Chelsea. 
I don't think Sarri is going to get what he needs in the first season. The midfield is weak. Courtois should be leaving. Hazard should be leaving. Willian should be leaving. I mean, they're lucky to finish fifth. I have Man United in fifth. I think that uh, Chelsea will do bits with Sarri and pass them. In fourth place, I have Manchester United. I think Jose might get sacked about midway through the season. He's just lost the plot. I have Chelsea in fourth. You're going to get back in the Champions League. It's going to be easy. Sarri's going to keep Hazard. Uh, going to lose Courtois, though. Get a good backup. Jeff Green. In third place. I think mighty, mighty Spurs are going to finish. In third place, I haven't really decided until like right now. I'm going to have Manchester City, after winning the league, think that uh, they won't be able to do it again. Now, in second place, runners up, I have Manchester City. They have the best squad in the league by far. The depth they have is unreal. But I just don't think the pressure of winning it last year will be enough for them to go do it again. Okay, in second, runners up. I have just swapped this right now. I have Liverpool in second. I think their defense is still rocky. They have got Allison, but I don't know that he'll be enough. That offense is fire. Then. And now, for first place, I think Liverpool are gonna win the league. We're gonna win the league. We're gonna win the league. Now you gotta believe us, now you gotta believe us, now you gotta believe us! We're gonna win the league! I have Tottenham winning the league, Harry Kane's gonna get the golden boot, he's gonna have a fire season and win the league. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that video. I know it was a pretty crazy one. Hopefully you guys will comment down below what you think will happen in the Premier League season. It should be a good one we're in store for. New video should be coming soon. My channel is hopefully not going to die more than it already has. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Like the video. And stay in tune for more content. That's all for today. And I'll see you all later. Adios.